Hey, 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 traders. Okay. Applicious. Let's go through an earnings review for Apple. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, just having a little fun today. Um, been a good day. Made a lot of money on the S&P today uh, in this little tight range that's been in. So uh, really happy about that. So just overall, talking about Apple, the entire industry, I want to say that um, it should be okay. Uh, I don't expect them to have a big beat or a big mess um maybe a small mess um so that being said i just want to check something uh, so looking at a couple things so yeah i'm gonna say uh maybe a small mess versus last quarter let me quantify that so we need to go and take a look at last quarter and see that the estimates were for 202 they came in at 210 um, now these estimates are for 157 ah poo poo pee doopy that just sucks i love how these games get played in this business we went from 336 to 210 before that we were at 167 157 all right so uh, I'm expecting them to do a little bit worse than last quarter. All my analysis says that um, Apple should perform a little bit worse. Now, where's the price since the last earnings? So the last earnings date was here. And we can see that we're a little bit higher than the last earnings date. So it looks like the market has not priced in this 157. Oops, sorry. This 157 yet. So again, kind of the same tricky situation as I was in yesterday, which by the way, I did call it out. Hopefully you guys watched that. And um, we ended up doing uh, the Under Armour trade and it worked out brilliantly, Steve. La Genius did it again. Made 80% on this trade yesterday. If you haven't watched my video, go watch the video. Uh, dollar sign UAA. And I will call this trade out perfectly. So Apple. Um, Apple, we are in AAPL. If I get that right. Apple, we're in a bit of a tricky situation. So less than expected. So I would expect they might come in close to this number as a matter of fact they might even beat this number however however even if they beat this number um uh they could beat this number so we could go higher off of that but as you can see we are not we haven't priced it in so we're higher than the last quarter, which, you know, is generally general market conditions. So I'm going to say that Apple will probably easily beat 157. I'm going to suggest probably 162, 163. I don't see it having too much of a problem beating that. But even if it beats it, how will the market react? And so I think this is going to be a tricky trade where um, let's just go and check some implied volatility real quickly on Apple and just see what the implied volatility is showing us. And um, let's get this over here. I'll show you guys quickly. So looking at Apple on a, an implied volatility. Um, if I can get it in here. Okay, one second, forgive me. So here's Apple's uh, implied volatility. And you can see that, um, isn't that interesting? Look at that, isn't that, isn't that quite fascinating? Um, you can see that the implied volatility is really low, which is really unique. 
um, you can see that the last earning season we were over 20 percent uh, the earnings season before that over 25 and the earnings before that we were again over 20 and the earnings before that we were as high as 30 so wow I don't know what exactly to make of that just now very very low implied volatility on this move so I'm gonna have to think about that for a second because I just looked at that for the first time and so there's not a lot of premium in these options that we want to be taking advantage of um, so I don't really know what I want to do um, the nice thing is is if we buy some puts or we buy some calls we won't get have to deal with that high high premium so yeah <laughs> now as far as everything is else is concerned as far as order flow is concerned I'm gonna say that obviously the path of least resistance is higher but I'm gonna say in this context we could be shorting Apple here I think so folks I think so but we have a bit of a conundrum they're probably gonna beat you know, they're probably going to beat. So, hmm. All right. So the bottom line is I have no clue what I'm going to do. <laughs> Let's just sum it all up. And then we're, I know I'm going to take some time in figuring it out. I want to, I got to finish this video quickly because I want to get this out there before four o'clock. So you guys don't say, you cheated. You told us these things after. The bottom line is I do not see that great of a trade i think apple will probably go will probably beat if it retests 156 i would not look for it to hold too much past that and i think really this is the trade where i could go either way and um yeah and the premium is nice so maybe a straddle there you go that's the trade let's straddle apple will buy puts and calls at the money. And that's my trade. That is going to be my trade. With this low implied volatility, uh, I think Apple could easily test this liquidity at 142. No problem. But we could also test this liquidity with a big beat at 156. So I'm going to go and structure a straddle. So I'm going to go do that trade right now. I just want to get this video out there. And there you have it. I'm going to say that, um, again, to sum it all up, we should beat this number. Okay? We should beat this number. It should beat this number. So that's my official take on it. We should beat this number. However, with very low implied volatility in this, tr uh, in this situation, the, um, it, it, looks like, it looks like nobody really gives a damn. Um, so that could bring up some interesting things. There's some fat liquidity here at 142.26. I think I want to start gunning for, but if we do beat, um, there is also a bunch of liquidity at 156. So that's the trade. Okay, look for a lackluster. I expect them to beat 157. My analysis says, you know, 180, 170, something like that. Um, but we're going to do a straddle because there's low volatility. And a straddle would mean if I get down to this level, I'll make money. Or if I get up to this level, I'll make money and the one will cancel the other. So there's a trade. Bye for now.